Hi YouTube. Um, yeah, this is kind of on the fly type of video for my targeted friends out there. Um, you know, I is anybody getting sick of it? Is anybody just wanted to stop? You go to the police, nothing happens, it just gets worse. Um, yeah, I try to enjoy some time over at Seaside, the beach over there, and, uh, Sophie and I were attacked in the bathroom when we were walking out. And I saw that, I saw it all come down. So, if anybody is going to Seaside, Oregon, on the beach, do not eat at Pig and Pancake. That's the restaurant. And I know that the, the establishment is involved because the people were in the back in the kitchen. So anyway, I'm just getting tired of it and what I really want to do and what I'm doing now is researching militias. I know that sounds extreme, but Antifa is real and extreme and they're taking over Portland. And so, yeah, I'm going to see if either uh, I can join and uh, make some friends. A lot of those people, though the leaders in there are ex-military or National Guard or even first-time responders such as police and things like that because not every everybody is involved and like what's happening in Portland is all the good police are retiring early and getting out and what I have heard is that they're hiring like trying to hire illegals and people like that the immigrants so that they'll follow the whatever the new world order wants and it really kind of concerns me that uh, August 29th with the summer rally um, in Portland whether they're going to be safe or not. I know that Oath Keepers which is a militia has done some work with the Republican Party in 2016 to help them um, with security so you know what I think we all need to do our bit and telling the right people but knowing where these right people are so I will keep you updated on that um, I hope everybody's okay you know with all those storms and flooding going on um, what I had seen after the earthquake is a lot of it, the war will begin so remember that people there is coming a civil war but there's going to be a lot of displaced people and you can already see it now so anyway people will have to live with their family or friends all packed into one house so, and the militias will be strong and they will be out fighting for our freedom. So, the way I see it, the war has already begun. The targeted people know because they're hit 24 hours a day. I mean, I can't even go out in my front yard without having a creeper out there. And that's really bad. So uh, I wouldn't suggest anybody moving in Oregon if you do go more to the southern side of Oregon. Anyway, um, take care guys. I, I will update you on what I find out and um, I will be careful as to not to make this targeting look like some conspiracy theory.
and I have been documenting. So hopefully I can get someone around my area to do a little PI work and a little surveillance on their own, taking notes. And uh, with the people involved in the militias, like I've said, they're, you know, they've been police before. They've, you know, ex-military. And in leadership positions, even an FBI agent went in there and turned out to be a whistleblower. So, you know, don't give up hope. And I'll let you know. Talk to you guys later.